I'm a janitor at the Louvre. The artwork that I clean, they're worth millions. The French heist drama has everyone wanting more. The talented Omar C, known for his role in The Untouchables, simply blows us away with his acting skills in this crime drama, and we haven't seen enough of him yet. Lupin is like the French equivalent of the BBC's Sherlock, and viewers never get tired of a good old detective drama. On today's list, we'll be giving you the top 10 things you should know about Lupin Season 2 or Part 2. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave a comment in the section below. First of all, what did Season 1 leave us with? The French language show debuted on the 8th of January this year, and millions Millions of families are just glued to their screens all around the world. Netflix reveals that Lupin had over 70 million subscribers within its first 28 days. That's a lot of people watching a show that isn't in English. In fact, Lupin is the first French show to scale the top 10 ratings on Netflix. The TV series is based on the series of books that Maurice Leblanc has published on the gentleman thief Arsène Lupin. These books are really popular in France, even more popular than Les Miserables. Millions of viewers in France and the rest of the world, including the US, binge-watched the five episodes of season one and are desperate to know what's going to happen next. Other shows often make the mistake of having too many episodes per season. However, Lupin with its five episodes makes it sweet and short, and it never feels like it drags on. Fans of the show have so many questions. For example, when will Hassan Diop return, and what's his next scheme? Will there be any more diamond heists? Season 1 ended with a major cliffhanger that we won't spoil for you. Just go and watch the show. You really won't regret it. We can at least promise you that much. All we will say is that Season 1 of Lupin ended on a high note, with the main character finding himself in a very tricky position, and that one of the characters dies. No, we're not gonna say who. Next up, when will filming start? The conclusion has already been shot. As we already know, the series is based on the novels. Season 1 left us with a cliffhanger and a title card appearing saying, It's official, part 2 is coming soon. Actually, they've already finished filming the second part, we're just waiting for it to be released. This is just too exciting, because the filming schedules of so many other great shows have been postponed indefinitely because of the global health situation. Next up, what can we expect in Season 2 of Lupin, aka also known as Part 2? Netflix has revealed that the second season will also have five episodes. More insights have been revealed into how the show's creative team developed the concept for the series. The story is more than just a quest for revenge. We can definitely expect to see more heists, disguises, and plot twists. If you really want to know what happens in the story, you can read the books that this incredible French TV series is based on. Maurice Leblanc, a French novelist from the 19th century, created the character Arsène Lupin, Gentleman Thief, and Detective 2. Leblanc's work inspire many other adaptations to follow in the footsteps of this master burglar and sleuth, such as the Japanese manga Lupin III, created by artist Monkey Punch, Kazuhiko Kato. Lupin III is the fictional grandson of Arsène Lupin, 60 years later. This character inspired an entire manga series, inadvertently making the Lupin series on Netflix a more feasible proposition due to Lupin the Third. No, we're not telling you to watch the manga series or read the novel for all the answers, but there might just be a clue somewhere if you, our armchair Sherlock Holmes, are so desperate to find out. Lupin is a detective drama after all, and if you're a hardcore fan of the show and dying for more answers, maybe it's worth the while to read the novel and watch the manga. It isn't gonna hurt. Next on our list, let's talk about the trailer. On March 5th, Netflix dropped a teaser for season two. In the trailer, we see the handsome Omar Sy playing a gentleman thief, making a mysterious phone call near a beautiful chateau. He has to rush to save somebody he cares about. Just from watching the first trailer, the second season looks like it is filled with suspense. For some reason, the trailer's dubbed in English instead of the usual French audio with English subtitles. From what we can tell, it looks like the second season will play off immediately after the cliffhanger of season one. Number five, cast reactions. Omar C is one of France's most famous actors right now. Everyone loves his energy, his charm, and the charm and playfulness that he brings to set. Omar reveals that he loves playing a fierce, unstoppable character. He says that it's a lot of fun on set with his co workers and that the creative material is rich. The New York Times has published a profile of Omar C that suggests that the show is returning for a second season this year. The creators of the show have weighed in on the whole process of making Lupin Part 2. Co-creator and co-writer George K promises us that he is actively storylining with real confidence that's gonna happen. That we've got every chance that season 2 would be coming out next year, unless something goes completely wrong. So things are looking good basically and we're storylining and Omar is really involved in terms of his character. He's really active and really sharp when it comes to the scripts and a Hassan's journey through those stories. So yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting to build on it more and to muddy the waters and to create more conflicts and complications. Kay even promises that season two will make more sense, answer all the unanswered questions, and generate even more questions and more mysteries. Next, will there be more seasons after season two? As usual, we viewers can never get enough. We're always hungry for more episodes. So we're happy that there will be a second season, but what about a third or even a fourth? Or are we getting ahead of ourselves? 
Similar to the chilling adventures of Sabrina, Lupin is broken up into different parts. Could there be hope then for more parts than the first two? Because Sabrina has been divided into four parts ending in 2020. Concerning Lupin, Netflix has so far only revealed that there will be two parts. However, fans are convinced that there will be more seasons because of the show's success. But it definitely will depend on what happens at the end of the second part. What do you guys think? Will there be more? Please, please say yes. Now we're at number 7. Which cast members will be returning? Since seasons 1 and 2 were roughly filmed at the same time, we can imagine that most of the cast from the first season will be back to finish the story, except of course for the characters who did not make it out alive in season 1. Omar C is the star of the show, and he'll return as Asan Diop on his quest for vengeance. Another character that will return is Ludivine Sanye as Diop's ex-wife Claire. Then there's son Raoul, played by Atan Simon. We can also expect to see the return of Sufyan Guerab's Detective Youssef, who is set to play a big Bigger role in the upcoming season. Then, Hubert Pellegrini is bound to return as Hervé Pierre, isn't he? Number 8. Will there be more flashbacks in Season 2? As we all know, Season 1 showed us a lot of flashbacks, and we can expect that the showrunners will stick to flashbacks because it explains the story better and gives us more depth on each character. Viewers have a soft spot for flashbacks, so our favorite shows nowadays rely on it for its effectiveness with the audience. Lupin's plotline is still far from finished, and to get to know the main character more, we're bound to see more of his past. Don't you just feel like turning the TV on right now and watching the first season all over again? Next, we have filming locations. What makes us love this show so much is the iconic French scenery. In season one, we got to see the most beautiful places in Paris, like the Louvre, Montmartre, and the Sacré-Cœur. The other place we get to see is the picturesque Normandy. So will season two show us some more beautiful and romantic parts of France? All we know right now is that Paris is the heart of the show. The show manages to capture Paris at its best with its stunning monuments. Who even needs to travel there when you get a first-class seat to one of the most beautiful cities on Earth? In season two, you can rest assured that we will get to see more of Paris in the next season. Can you ever get enough of its allure? The other pop popular filming locations in Paris in part 1 were 7 Rue Perret and Le Pont des Arts. It hasn't exactly been revealed where they filmed the second part, but we can assume they filmed the same places as the first part because they were all filmed around the same time. So don't expect season 2 to be playing off in the darkest parts of Africa or Antarctica. Last on our list, when will season 2 be released? Netflix has confirmed that the second season of Lupin will air in the summer of 2021. Exciting! This is one of the few great shows we don't have to wait an entire year for. Thank you, Netflix, for not leaving us in angst. Netflix reveals that filmmakers Ludovic Bernard, who directed The Climb, and Hugo Gelin, who directed Love at Second Sight, are directing the second season. There's no exact release date yet, but summer's getting closer, and the weather is getting hotter. Thanks for watching our video, everybody. If you want to check out our other videos, subscribe to our channel, leave a like or a comment in the section below, and we'll see you next time on the channel.